Hello adventurers, welcome, my name is MJ Pestridge and welcome to another Fighting Fantasy look at a new book. It's been two years since the previous Crystal of Storms book and it's been a year since um, I've done one of these videos. And today we're looking at Steve Jackson's Secrets of Salmonis, written by Steve Jackson and the cover artwork and artwork inside is by Tazio Betton, which thankfully has gone back to the line drawings of uh, of the original series that uh, that we all love and i gotta say the artwork is very very nice highly detailed really um sort of uh, indicative of the series that we've all fallen in love with now this book was written as well by jonathan green he had a hand in it um and it was released september 2022 now the story of this book i'm not going to spoil at all because I, it's a really good book i really implore you to go get it and read it um but it is truly a real feels like an open world game where you can pretty much go and do whatever you want you've almost got like a job and you have to take jobs and earn money and you really do feel like you have you know the freedom to do what you want in this book um, steve jackson's books are really known uh for being or bringing something new rather sort of being really good but bringing something new to the fight and fantasy uh, genre. Uh, all of his books that are scattered throughout the original series uh, are all very different from each other and all written very well. This one is no exception. Even though it was partly written by Jonathan Green, it is the first sort of true open world. It's basically the game like Skyrim, you know? Um, it features classic sort of um, settings like you might recognize a few people or characters in the book um, it is it is really really good uh, I'm gonna read the back cover now the front cover artwork which I said is by Tazio Betton is kind of misleading it's kind of deceiving because I did not find this creature at all in the book I've read it twice and I, I've never come across this particular situation of the artwork on the front cover but let's read the back and let's see what it's about traveling to the ancient city of salmonis to make your fortune you must decide whether to join the strong arms guarding the merchant caravans that crisscross alancia or study at the famous halls of learning will you enter bufon fen in search of cauldron weed or ride king solomon's mine of the or rid rather king solomon's mind of the pests that plague it will you bring cardinal zinn back to justice or set off in search of the horn of the black unicorn and just who is the shivering man and what does he have to do with the mystery of the screaming sky um like i said this book is really good it's the sort of first from steve jackson in a very long time and it's not the last he is currently writing a new one to be released next year so um i cannot wait to see what that's about um this uh, again from scholastic publishing is a is a new book and 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 is worth getting it's been 40 years of fighting fantasy and it's just still going strong um i'm so glad that they're still writing these books and i'm so glad that um pe people are finding these books for the first time um i have a link to my discord down below where you can basically we go through all the entire series of books um all the sort of puffin original releases all the wizard books all the scholastic books as well as the sorcery series the advanced series and all those other books um as well as that um coming up soon in october we have a weekend where we're going to be reading this book and some of the real rare ones as well so there's a link down below to that as well join in it's going to be fun it's basically from 9 a.m till 9 p.m i'm going to be reading these books live on this youtube channel and i and i welcome you to join us um hopefully we'll be getting some guest interviews from the writers of the series and a hopefully a guest uh, reader as well will join us but um secrets of the salmonis highly recommend picking it up um the, the i i mean i i 
I would say more, but I really don't want to spoil the story at all. You know, the artwork inside is back to being line drawings, guys. We got it. Hopefully that continues. Go pick it up. Um, available on Amazon. Thank you so much for watching this video. And in the next episode, we're going to be looking at Ian Livingston's new book. Something about giants and iron claws or I don't know. Shadow of the Giants, it's called. Check it out. Thank you for watching this. Take care, adventurers. See you next time. Bye-bye.